uh, in this video we're going to take a quick look at screws um, sizes uh, etc this is a typical frame from a GDA team uh, the plans are available on JDOM website uh, I use the bevel frame method um, so we have uh, a strut with a bevel down the outside uh, and when we're looking at screws uh, we we'll look at the main frame first we first we put the uh, the big frame together and we put a long screw from one strut into into the next and if I run up to I'll, I'll uh, quickly deal with this um, it's a large screw countersunk screw uh, well into the end here and uh, in the middle of of this um, strut it's important to put one screw in rather than two if you had a, a deeper frame you might be tempted to put two in but if you put two in it stops this um, any movement on this strut now if your bevel is out like a tiny bit um, you don't want to uh, have gaps so th this construction method is designed really to have a little bit of give in it uh, so if you were to uh, have this out by say uh, one or two degrees you could put some cramps on it and it would twist this this strut just a little tiny bit so having a little bit of give um, helps your frame go together much neater and much cleaner if we look back at the frame you can see that uh, each corner it overlaps we don't put, we don't run a strut right along the bottom there's a, a specific overlap I'll just try and zoom out a little bit here right here we go you can see that there's an overlap here so this 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 uh, every frame is cut off at the on the left hand side if you like and run through on the right I'll just zoom in on this top one so you, you can see that that runs through so the screw goes in that direction and, and if you look at the screws they're all going in clockwise uh, you don't want your frames to have one long section across the bottom with two screws going up and one scro screw on this way because it messes up all, of, all your joints and um, so as long as you overlap them like that you should be fine uh, the, the other thing is um, if we take a look back closely at the corner uh, we have the little screws that fix the struts together because you basically have a triangle with struts and you join it uh, to the next triangle these small screws uh, you want to put them in um, crooked if you like a screw is much stronger and much much harder to pull out if it's put in at an angle it's an old joinery trick if you um, put them in straight you can you can pull them out especially with uh, thin screws these are number 440s so they're uh, less uh, than two inches uh, maybe inch and three quarters and quite thin so they're quite liable to pull out or snap or something like that so that the theory that I use is to put a lot of small screws in rather than not so many big screws this one here can be as long as you like as long as it doesn't split the strut but what you want to do is you want to put the small screws into the corners as much as close into the corners as you can uh, obviously I use a drill bit for this I use electric drill with a screwdriver bit on it you won't be able to get this these screws in the corners unless you put them in crooked anyway if you will put them in straight you wouldn't be able to get the drill in for here so it's important to get this these screws here as close to the corner as possible it doesn't matter if you overlap this screw as long as you go above it or below it um, and try and get these two screws as close to the corner as possible uh, let's take a look at the uh, a more uh, fully constructed dome with the panels uh, the frames I should say uh, joined together this here we have it in a in a typical dome I'll zoom out a bit 
This is a, again, it's the GD18, and I'm showing the screw detail on the Pentagon panels. If, if you can see here uh, that we've got the screws in crooked, and we've got some screws in going from this side, and some screws going from the other side. This It's probably a good example um, of, of how I do it. It looks a little bit higgly piggly. You've got all stabbing in at different angles, but this is much stronger than putting them all in straight and neat and tidy. And the the idea is to put plenty in. I mean, you're looking at um, maybe uh, six down a side, or eight even if you if you count both sides. Uh, and when you have your finished joint, remember I talked about the overlapping. If you have them all overlapping the same way, no screw interferes with the with another screw. You don't get any screws uh, crossing each other or wanting to go from one to the other. Uh, these again, the corner screws can go past this central screw as long as it's above or below it. Uh, you, you'll know if you hit one uh, when you're screwing. And that that's the sort of best practice for uh, putting the frames together with screws. Uh, I don't use any glue on the joints because that would prevent it swiveling. Uh, I used to, I tried gluing them one time and you, you basically when you put the cramps on you can hear the, jo the joint crack if there's any flexibility at all. You want a little bit of flexibility in your screws but a, a, a nice tight hold so that they don't pull out um, after you've built the structure. These screws will probably seem quite thin uh, but because you have so many, that's where you get your strength because you've got a, a, a lot of them. Uh, in a typical three frequency dome like this one, um, I'm using 800 screws. So that'll give you an idea of uh, how many screws you're putting in. And finally, um, let's talk about C cramps. You're going to need um, an absolute minimum of three. Uh, preferably six C cramps and never try and pull your frame your two frames together with screws always clamp it first and then put the screws in uh, you'll find that if you try and pull it together with screws it just won't work it'll just be left gappy whereas you can nip the script the um, C cramps up tight uh, and put your screws in and then it won't come apart again uh, as long as you put plenty of screws in so you need a minimum of three and that's really a bare minimum, um, but six prefer preferably for a typical um, three frequency dome. Th these are about 4.5 meters, that's 16 feet diameter, and that should be plenty. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.